This is not Afghanistan. It's not even Iraq, even though Iraq was a serious war, probably more serious than Afghanistan. It is, it is, this is going to be way, way worse, way more vicious and bloody, way more horrific than, than we've ever seen before. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? That's right. 100 drones and missiles into it. And I watched just now before I came on the air, because I was waiting to see, was this just a little volley over the skies from, from Iran? Was it just a little throwing of a little fire over the, you know, over the fence to mm. look tough? But the bombs actually hit. This is unprecedented that right. the bombs hit hmm. inside Israel. And remember, hmm. if if they use their proxies in Hezbollah in the north, it's going to be very difficult for them to stop those rockets and bombs from coming into the into uh, their city. This I, is I, a beautiful, beautiful time, man. And so like here, sir, I just said that I too. Yield. Just, a, ahead, huh? just to add to what you're saying too, Hezbollah. Um, sent like 50 rockets earlier. Oh, they did, yeah. Cancer, so, so they, they, they fit into get on, yep. And they've been they've been trying they've been trying to expand this war for some reason. They got an agenda and they've been trying to expand that agenda, but that agenda is gonna fall on their mm -hmm. face, right? That agenda that they're seeking out to do is gonna go totally against them, it's gonna destroy this place mm -hmm. and destroy all these countries. We've been saying this for decades. I'm and listen, I'm so glad to be in this at this time. You know why? Because we've been saying this, y'all know we've been saying this for a very long time. Right. This uh, whole empire is going into the third world war. And here we are. And damn it, they deserve it. That's Everybody's right. eating good off of us. Everybody has ruled over us, man. That's We're right. like a quiet mouse in a cage in the basement, in the corner of the basement of the house. Hmm. And everybody else is living deliciously in the house, except for us. That's right. Well, that's about to change now. You understand? That's about to change. That's right. Old days are going away and new days are coming. So there's right. some prophecies on this, as we brought out earlier. Some prophecies on this. We'll get into in a second. But what do y'all think of the whole attack? Give me y'all take on it. So, like, so, if I could, I, yeah. I would ask, like, would you say um this the whole thing coordinated with Russia? Because remember, it's, it's last weekend or weekend before, where Russia moved into that um into that channel there where Houthis were. Hmm. Right. You know what I mean? So I don't know, like, how coordinated the whole thing is. As you say, they had the, the Hezbollah to the north. Russia moved ships down there, and they had everybody worrying about who they really there for. And then two weeks later now, Iran, who bumped with Russia, then, you know, don't get emboldened now to get set the whole thing up. So you, th you think it's like they, they come together and coordinate the whole thing? A absolutely. Remember, all of, them are, all of them are grabbing each other's electronics in the air. Hmm. And so they all hearing what everybody else is saying. They knew before the Israelis bombed and kill those generals of the Iranians, the Russians already knew they were doing. It. Hmm. They were hmm. they already knew, and they already they not only did they come down to the Middle East, but they also warned the Iranians that something like this was gonna happen. Hmm. So when the Iranians got hit, they already knew it was coming. And it's hmm. also why the Russians came down and parked themselves down in that area. You understand what I'm saying? So they already knew that was coming. Now, the, uh, the the Israelis already knew the Iranians were going to attack them. They even mentioned it in the on the news, one of the news articles. They said, "Yeah, they're going to come back and attack us." Uh, you know, they, they you know word has it that they're going to come back and attack us. And sure enough, that's exactly what they did. Sure enough, mm -hmm. they came back and fired these rockets. The Israelis already knew these rockets were coming. The Americans knew it too, because the Americans had already put uh, some defenses in place to prepare for these kind of rockets and missiles. Mm. And brother, but and here's some other factors that's in there that they ain't coming out with. Russia has gathered a whole lot of African countries together. Mm -hmm. You're gonna see Africans fighting in the streets of Israel mm. and in the streets of Iran. Mm. 
Like this thing, this thing is about to get into everybody's backyard. That's right. You about to see war. Like this is the time. If you a warrior, this is the time you want to be living in. Mm. You want to be living in this time, brother, because you about to see war like you never seen before. Oh, yeah. You see what I mean? And you Salak know what's, what's good? Go ahead, right, Salak. No, I ain't mean to cut you off, sir. Salak. Go ahead. No, you good. Go ahead. So can you hear me? Can you hear me good, yeah, sir? Hey, you fine. Okay. Uh, I do. I want to bring out something general about the uh about what happened with the with the drones, right? Right. Uh, you got a lot of ambassadors now on international uh, TV and different channels. They saying all oh, this is happening. A lot of them is blaming Israel because they saying they saying Israel and the West, right? And and because of they violating international law. And they don't respect borders that, this, that this, it came to this. And a lot of them is afraid because a lot of them don't want war, but it's sucking them into the Valley of Jehoshaphat. You're so right. They don't, they don't, a lot of them is checking their bank accounts right now <laughs> and checking their passport. A lot of them <laughs> going to be out the country. A lot of them yeah. going to be out the country by in the morning. They, you won't even know. They said, well, where the, where the, where the ambassador, where the head of the state, right. he gone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He on some they, island somewhere. If I could, Cap, they came out and said that the Israelis had to shut down all of the airspace. So, so all of the Americans and the so-called small hats from America that was over there gobbling up land, taking over areas, participating in that, tried to get out the country and run back to America to hide. Because mm. they knew the heat was coming. But they couldn't hide because they shut down the airwaves, so they stuck over there now. Good. Temporarily, they can't get out. Go ahead, go ahead, Cap. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, no, do you right, General? They they gonna try to see if they can get, they can get smuggled out the country. How many diamonds they can give to a caravan of, of smugglers <laughs> to get them out the country? Look, they might have turned into the illegal immigrant. <laughs> like 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 the Bible say it, it. He gonna he gonna he gonna give them that cup. He gonna pass that cup. Yeah. You know what I'm saying to them, so yeah. uh, it's so heavy in that zone. What's going on, man? And it's and it's sucking all them countries. Everybody got to pick a side. The the line of neutrality, new, uh, being neutral over there is real, real, real thin now. It didn't got even thinner. So they calling on a lot of them is uh, talking to the United Nations, wanting them to step in, but it's too late. Yeah, it's too late now. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's like a cap. No, go ahead, go ahead. I'll, I'll come it's like sir, if, if I may, General, too. I just just to piggyback off of what Captain Kahan was saying, the United States State Department 14 hours ago issued the warning for all U.S. citizens, all U.S. diplomats to leave Israel to mm. get out of Israel. Because they said they've already got intel that the U.S. is is, is a, a target and Israel's a target. Mm. Mm. That's a rough deal right there. That's mm -hmm. a rough, rough, oh, rough, rough, rough deal right there. They said to get up out of there. That mean they know they knew they this was coming, but it's too late oh, now. They in it now. They. At least for the next 24 hours, they said that Iran said they done, which means they might fire these bombs overnight, and that's the end of that. And and then they'll probably let them all out of there and go back to normal. Or the Israelis will do something crazy, like go over there and attack them, and we'll see a whole nother side to this dance. Mm -hmm. And so like a general, I could. Please. It was recently one of them senators uh, was talking about the Ukraine war, and he was saying because I think a lot of them see a lot of them get back channel information either from the State Department where they get the State Department information, but a lot of them got people or spies in other countries. So that he he was saying that look, Zelensky got to hurry up and, and wrap this thing up, mm -hmm. hurry up and, and, and you know. Go ahead and try to win the war or something. Do something. Concede to Russia or something. Because it's too many arms in the fire now. Hmm. Mm. 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 Yeah. So I, I yield. 
Yeah. Like, like uh, you right. Uh, mm -hmm. like, like what's so beautiful about this is this is beautiful for slaves. Yeah. And the Lord's chosen people are slaves. This ain't beautiful for people that are free. But for the people that are slaves, this is this is this is almost equivalent to when the Civil War broke out. Like like people used to call us back in the day, people used to call us ridiculous because they used to say y'all sitting around waiting for these people to go and attack each other for y'all to get free. We know mm. that this is we knew that it was part of the prophecies That's during right. the Civil War in America. British, the British fought against America for trying to be independent. In that fight, blacks and Latinos got free. Mm. They got free if they were on the side of the British. Even after the British lost the battle, the British took the blacks that was down with them and put them on ships out and sent them to the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. So you got you got tens of thousands of Judites living in the Caribbean as Benjamites that's actually Judites mm -hmm. because they had to get the British had to get them out of there. Most of them in British Isles on from British islands. And they had to get them out of there because but but they became free. Mm -hmm. They got free from their rule. And that's why many of those countries became free way, way earlier. Many of those islands got free way earlier. And this is very similar in the same, in that this, what this means is the eroding of control over us. Can I read one scripture on this? That's um, awesome. If you could, if you could uh, uh, get second Ezra the sixth chapter, if I could. I'll read a couple of verses while we got a little bit of time left, all right? Y'all okay. chime in anytime, please. Come on, come. You know what I'm saying? Come on, come on. I'll turn the chat room on and see if I I can get it. Uh, the from. Say again. I what? We starting from sir. second as well, six and. Did I? What what happened? I dropped. Say again. No, he just wants to know the verse you want, sir. So what? Oh, my bad. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> the full mile, the full hundred percent accents. <laughs> Let's slow it down. <laughs> Okay, I lost you, Mashak. Am I missing something? <laughs> so like I... <laughs> no, no, sir. I what I, what, what I miss? What? I... <laughs> I was, I was saying. So why am I just slow it down a little bit? Because he, he giving it four hundred percent full proof accent. So oh. it was what he was saying. <laughs> yeah, okay. I mean. Okay. Big shout out to Swap y'all. Hold it down and chill it down. Big shout out to you, Warren. Can you start at seventeen? So the book of Second Ezra, chapter 6 and verse 17. And it happened that when I stood and heard it, I stood upon my feet. Keep going. Come, come. And happened, and behold, there was a voice that spake. And the sound of it was like the sound of many waters. Right. I mean, he heard this voice that was breaking this down to him from the angel. Okay. And it was like a voice of many waters. Go ahead. Come on, verse 18. And it said, Behold, the days come that I will begin to draw nigh and to visit them that dwell upon the earth. That's what's going on now. The Lord is drawing nigh. We're beginning to wake up. Our people are beginning to wake up. He's get, he's drawing nigh, okay, to, to, to visit the people that dwell on the earth. He's getting ready to step back in here. Like the Lord has been absent from here while we were in our punishment, man. Like we called on the Lord. The Lord didn't hear us. We didn't even know we was we, who, who, what Lord to call on. We calling on every God over there. Remember what the Lord said to Moses. The Lord said to Moses, look, I have heard the cries of my people in the tents, meaning he wasn't hearing them cries before. You understand why we was under that punishment. But now he beginning to hear them cries and he begin and he beginning to visit us on the earth. Go ahead. Falcon. 
and will begin to make inquisition of them. Right, he gonna inquire of us. He gonna now look at us and say, okay, what is going on here? What's happening on the earth? I'm back. The punishment is up. It's like you put mm. your kid in the room for punishment. You downstairs, you cleaning the house, you doing whatever you got to do. And then when the time is up, that his punishment is up, you go upstairs to see what he's doing, to see what's going on with him. That's what's happening with us now. That's the time we in now. Go ahead, I. Duncan, what they be that have put unjustly with the unrighteousness. Right. He come now to see who been hurting unjustly. Who's been being evil on this earth? Who's been wicked on this earth? I come to look at him now. Go ahead. And when the affliction of Zion shall be fulfilled. Right, and when the end of our punishment is up, which that's what this is. This is the end of our punishment, one of the greatest things that ever could happen to us. Go ahead. Now, can verse 20. And when the world that shall begin to vanish away shall be finished, then, then will I show these, to these tokens Right, the like when the world begin to vanish away, which was which is what you what's happening now. These governments are going to start to fall apart. Right now, the American government is in one of the worst states it could ever be in. One of the worst states it could ever be in because both nobody trusts both sides of the politics anymore. That's because right. of the advent of the internet, people don't mm -hmm. trust the politics anymore. They don't trust the politicians anymore. And and now the political parties have morphed into something else. Mm -hmm. And they morphing under racial lines and everything. So all of the smoke screen of politics is beginning to erode away now. That's what's mm -hmm. happening in this earth. And so now the truth is going to start to come out even more. Go ahead, Ah. The books shall be opened before the firmament. That's right. And they shall see all together. Go ahead. Verse 21, and the children of a year old shall speak with their voices. So in other words, the firm, the books are going to be open, right? And and uh, before the firmament, meaning everything is going to begin to be revealed. Like the firmament is, of course, the sky. So everything is going to be revealed before mankind. Everybody's going to begin to know the truth, know the history of the truth, know who the Lord's chosen are who have been in this quiet captivity on this side of the world for 400 plus years, all of that's getting ready to come out and be exposed. And they're going to begin to see exactly the way the world was supposed to be and all the lies that have been taught. And as they begin to do that, all of the prophecies are going to start coming out. And the children of the year of one year, meaning not a, not a one year old child, but the young people, the young nations that come up in this earth the young groups that come up in this earth who believed all the, the BS that was taught from the ancient world and now reveal now and now begin now to see what is really going on. Wait till it come out like stuff like the mm. Roman Catholic Church is, is the one that started the slave trade. They went and negotiated the finances and set up the whole trade in the very beginning. Them in the small hats, all of that's going to start to come out. Go ahead, Doc. Oh, cancer. The woman with children shall bring forth untimely children of three or four months old. Go ahead. And they shall live and be raised up. Re meaning not actual children being born at three and four months old, but actually small people that were small. People that, would, that were supposed to grow up a long time ago but are small nations and small groups of people that are going to be going to have to rise up before their time. Like these Houthis. These Houthis are a baby that is before their time. They're not a real empire, but they got to fight like a real empire. Hezbollah ain't a real empire, but they got to fight like a real empire. These groups have to stand up like real grown-ups, even though they're premature for the time that they in. And the same goes for us as a people too. We got to take our lives and our nation serious now because the time is coming short. Get, go ahead, Ah. And suddenly shall the snow places appear on snow. 
The right, full meaning, storm. Me, meaning the sown places as they begin to rise up. What are the sown places? Those are the established empires. America, Great Britain, Russia, Saudi Arabia, Iran, Israel. These are big established countries. China, Australia. These are established places. These are sown places, meaning they've been established. But these places are about to get ripped the hell up out of there. They ain't going to be sown no more, brother. Go ahead. They're going to appear unsown. They're going to be, they're going to seem like they are empty now. Go ahead. The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. These countries that have so much wealth and power are going to start to appear empty now. They're going to start to, nobody believed you could ever uh, attack uh, um, Ukraine. But they look at, look at Ukraine now. Ukraine was an extremely powerful country. The same with Iran. We don't know how it's going to end, but but they, but make no mistake, their empire could be ripped apart too. They'll still carry out what mm -hmm. they got to carry out, but their empire could be stepped all over, like it's mm -hmm. nothing. It could get crushed and stepped. And the same with 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 uh, some of the other countries in that area. You notice you don't hear mm -hmm. anything about countries like Jordan and Egypt. They all mm -hmm. hiding. They were supposed to be strong. But they hiding, mm -hmm. brother, trying not to get in the middle of this madness. But everybody's mm -hmm. going in this valley of Jehoshaphat. Go ahead, Al. Huh. Um, um, and the trumpet shall give a sound, which when every man hear it, they shall be suddenly afraid. And you, just, and you heard that You heard that trumpet just 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 today. That trumpet now, mm. CNN coming on, and that trumpet is being sounded. Can y'all hear me? Come, come, come. Hello, did I lose y'all? Okay, we can hear you. Yeah, come on, come, sir. We can hear you. Come, most time Christ. Like that trumpet is being sounded now. That trumpet is being blown, brother, and it is being heard now. I yield on that. There's more, but I yield right there for now. Salaka, General. Get down, okay. Colonel O'Connor, it, it, it's, it's so heavy that you're bringing it out because the stronger nations over there, they are they are taking inventory of their war chest. And a, a, low, a lot of them is going to be using the mercenaries. They're trying to, you know, import. Uh, uh, they don't have enough, uh, enough men or enough men willing to fight in them areas. They're going to they gonna be trying to secure up their areas. So it's going gonna, it's gonna, to, I mean... Uh, ain't no such thing as yep. borders now. Ain't no such thing. If they looking at it like yep. if you're not gonna, if Israel not gonna agree to the international law, then it's 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 open season. It's it's you know, ain't no at the the border is where, where where we stop at. That's where the border is. Wherever my troops stop at, that's where the border gonna be. Yep. That that that's how they thinking over there right now. Hmm. You right. You right. Yo, know, man. Yeah. Like our people, man. Our people. We got a we got a rough, rough day coming, brother. We got a day worse than the day that that was with these Grecians. I keep hammering it. You know what I'm saying? Which is our job to do. But I hammer it, brother, because I know when that day come, like you're gonna see grown men faint. Hmm. You're gonna see men faint for the fear and the hell that's about to unfold in this place. Because of course they got to fight this war over here. Where is it going to mm -hmm. get fired? This is the last place there's any money left on the earth any damn way. Wall mm -hmm. Street is the last place. The China is broke too. Hmm. China is fronting like they in full power, but China is being held up by the American economy. If China had to pull, you know how many products is being, is being imported from China, man? Mm -hmm. If China had to pull, they, pull their imports, it would hurt America horribly, but it would devastate China. Hmm. You know what I mean? It would devastate. How you feed a billion people? <laughs> it's crazy. Right. Right, yeah. Yeah. Concept. Answer. Answer like you said. Right. Go ahead. Go, go ahead, Cap. Go ahead, Cap. Salaki. No, I just going to add to now you see why um why Biden had to pull out of Afghanistan so quick and leave every all them equipments. 
because they knew what was coming. They knew yeah. exactly what was going to happen, what they was going to do. Now you're not hearing nothing about bricks. No, you're not hearing nothing about these things. You know what I mean? Because they, they for sure have an agenda. Because you, you can't tell me to set up the UN Council, right? You set rules mm. up in the UN Councils. And you're not fall and Israel not following any of them. They, right. They, they, they claim that Israel is committing genocide on them uh, on them um on them um Palestinians. Mm. You know what I mean? And everybody sitting back, you still pushing paper and, and people looking like paper across there with drips in the arm. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. which which lets you know they, they have an agenda and they, they're willing, you know what I mean, to sacrifice lives to see it through. You know what I mean? It's a lot, Joe. Get down, Cap. Oh, it's a lot, Cap. I ain't know if you was through, Cap. No, no, like, yeah, I, I, I'm done. Can, can I, I, I just want to get one scripture, General, that I think about uh, when it comes to this, when it comes to what's going on in the uh, Middle East. Uh, right. Can I... Can I get uh, Job chapter 18, verse 11, all the way no. to the uh, verse 13? Because it's so heavy what, what Captain Nathak just said. Like, the inter, like the, uh, the United Nations, they didn't ruin their reputation. Yeah. Because, like, like they just, like Captain Nathak said, they just pushing paper now. Mm. You know, you might as well just put that in the shredder. Right. And just, you know, <laughs> and, 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 you know and, and, and not even write on, on the paper because now... They didn't ruin, you might as well call it the, the divided nations now, just like the divided states of America. Mm -hmm. it, they, they, they can no longer depend on them. They can no longer depend on you enforcing international law. Mm -mm. So it was a breakdown that's, le that's leading up to this, and now they, they, it's nothing, nobody's listening to them now. Um, um. If I can get that scripture, my brother. Um, um, sir. The book of Job, chapter 18 and verse 11. Terrors shall make him afraid on every side. And that's that's heavy. Bible say terror is going to make this man afraid on every side. North, south, east, and west. Every direction. On every axis. He is terror that's going to make him afraid. Because now, he don't know who to trust. Right. There's movement going on over there. He's he don't know well, why you moving these people over here. Why are you moving the tanks over here? He don't. They're gonna get double crossed. A lot of these countries gonna get double crossed and crossed out now in the final hour. Yeah. Keep going. Khan, Khan, and shall drive him to his feet. Why is it gonna drive him to his feet? Because he was at rest. He was in a comfortable uh, position. He was reclining. Now he's on the incline. Now he gotta now he gotta get up on his feet now. Keep going. Oh, God. His strength shall be hunger bitten. And why is his strength gonna be hunger bitten? It's just like with Rome, trying to govern and control all these areas, and he, he ain't gonna have enough strength to do it. He wanna outsource a lot of these these zones. He ain't gonna have enough strength to do it. He's gonna be hunger bitten. You know what I'm saying? His strength, he's gonna start to weaken. Keep going. Now, can, and destruction shall be ready at the side. And look at the, how the Lord break it down, man. Destruction going to be ready right at his side. It's going to be prepared for him. The Lord prepare. He prepare wrath like you prepare a dinner. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it's going to be ready for him. It's, 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 it's prepped for him. You so right. Keep going. Now, can. It shall devour the strength of his skin. You under you hear that? And it's for those who think this book don't talk about racial lines. It's gonna destroy that white privilege, the strength of his skin. Mm -hmm. That skin ain't gonna have strength no more, because everybody gonna see who this man really is, and all the all the treachery and the, the and the deceitfulness that he's been doing amongst the earth. And all the, the deals and backdoor deals, a lot of leaks about to come out too now. Mm -hmm. Like this war, you got an information war going on too. Mm -hmm. Like the Bible say in Revelation, that, that, that flood that came out the dragon's mouth. A lot mm -hmm. of people streaming right now. And some streams are going viral. Yeah. So all this information is coming out and they're trying to stop it. But you can't stop all these leaks that's coming. 
Keep going. Come on. Even the firstborn of death shall devour his strength. You understand? Just like in Egypt, that's what's going to happen. The death angel going to blow out them candles in that monorah in, e in Israel. He going to blow it out. It ain't going to be nothing nobody can do about it. Because the Lord, they didn't shed so much blood in that land on our land. Mm -hmm. The Lord is angry about that. Even though they're heathens, you didn't shed blood. All You didn't killed all them people up in there. And the Lord is angry about it. And like the commander General Johanna said, he about to visit that. He about to visit this earth now. Because right. he didn't have enough. The sins have reached unto heaven, like you say in Revelation. Mm -hmm. So like our year. Okay, so general, just just to the point he was just um making there about China, right? They um this is from this is from um the U.S. the office of the U.S. um oh hold on this is not it this is from the office of the the um the trade trade representative um for America as a government site, and this is the figures they have here for China. They say um China trade. Okay. U.S. U.S. goods and services trade with China in 2022. The total trade is seven seven hundred and fifty eight billion in total. The imports was imports was five hundred and sixty two billion. Mm. Five hundred and sixty two billion in 2022. Uh, according to the to, to their records in 2022, that was it was responsible for about twenty four point something percent of um of the imports. So they they, they they down there joined to the joined to the hip economically with you know with China. This is just the back of what you're saying. So. Hmm. Hey, and can I add one more before you go on to? You know what struck me, man, was when that bridge. Remember this bridge that, that got hit in Baltimore? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, it just got hit in Baltimore and those brothers died. Did you see yeah. the amount of goods that were sitting on the top of that ship? Oh, car. Come, come. The amount of goods that was on that ship was the amount of was like it was like a skyscraper laid down on its back. Mm -hmm. That's what it looked like with all those those containers. It yeah. looked like a skyscraper on its back, filled with goods. So mm -hmm. much good the, the amount of goods on the ship was like four times the size of the ship. Come, sir. I was surprised that the ship could hold that much weight on it. Mm -hmm. Let's low navigate. There it is. Pull wow. that in if you could. Look at the blue line of the ship. That's the ship. Mm. Now look mm. at all that's on top of the ship. And I mean, them containers are, they stack from end to end. I wonder how they cross them oceans in mm. bad weather. Mm. So, uh, answer like you, sir. Yeah. How, how, how the captain seem to drive that? What the captain? Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Like that's that was supposed to be brought in with a tugboat, mm -hmm. because how are you gonna drive that thing? You know what I mean you can even barely see where he would be at to drive it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, look how much goods. That's one ship. That's mm -hmm. one ship. And just make and just know this: for every inch of what's on that ship, there is some Edomite making a dollar, mm -hmm. while the Lord's chosen people starve and whittle away. In the ghettos of the empire, right, killing each other and scrambling for food. We like in the middle of a medieval movie, mm -hmm. right? It's a joke. Come on, come. And it, and and this is and this is why the Lord got to bring these empires down, because they'll just they'll just gobble up the earth till there's nothing left. Right. Mm -hmm. They want to kill their own self. They want to turn their self into robots. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they want to make robots out themselves. Ka. They want to transform their brain into a robot's brain. Ka. They hoping they can put their consciousness in the robot so that they can outlive the body that they in. Hmm. So that their consciousness could be now in a robot and, and believe that they can now live for thousands and thousands of years. Right. And just gain more and more knowledge on how to rob the earth. Hmm. Like what a madman. Oh, I yield, Salaki. Salaki, General. If I could, ahead, but I was reading that when I was reading the article about that, uh, the Francis Scott Key 
bridge being uh you know uh uh damaged and you know when it fell and they was talking about the recovery and they was talking about them goods and one of them uh i guess one of the engineers or the recovery engineers he said that this is he said there's so many goods on there it's like it's like playing jumanji but it's the type of it's the type of jumanji you don't want to lose because they had to try to they got to try to go through all the wreckage and then dealing with the cargo that's on that on that boat it's real tricky because there's so much goods on there so I mean, that, that lets you know how much money is on them on them boats going up and down these different channels in America, these rivers and things like that, man. But it's, I mean, it's 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 crazy, it's crazy. And how many, how much illegal goods are on there? Hmm. Right, how much drugs and guns, hmm. and all kinds of stuff is on it, and ain't no way they tracking that. No, ain't no way they tracking all of that stuff. Guns, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, if a, if like this is the place where all the wealth is coming. And remember that's that's one ship. Cancer. And it shows you also how much of a slave we've been made to be in this empire. Because if you need that much goods to come in from other countries, you in pretty poor shape when it comes to taking care of yourself. Right. That means life, that means war breaks out, borders get shut down, life gonna get extremely bad overnight. Right. Yeah. Life gonna get extremely bad if if this is if this is what you need coming into all these ports. You go look at pull up some of them pictures of some of them ports in California mm -hmm. and over there in uh Delaware and Philadelphia and all of them ports. Look at the containers on it. They got a port over there in Newark, New Jersey. Brother, if you see the goods that's sitting up on the top of that port. It looked like skyscrapers out there filled with people with, with goods coming from all over the world. Mm. Meanwhile, the Lord's chosen got to scramble for, you know, minimum wage and scramble for, mm. like, this place here is going to get judgment like Egypt got judgment. That's right. You know, man, you got people with gold on the ceilings and on their walls and on their chandeliers and their lamps while the Lord's chosen, the one the Lord called for, there it is. Mm. Good night. Where's that at? Busy one in New Jersey. Can you zoom in on that, Mashat? Um, to the lower I, half of that? Take a look at that. I could scroll, scroll down some more. That's, that's, yeah, that's, right, that's, yeah. That's, yeah. Look at that right there. You, hmm. That ain't a really, that's good, but you can't get the full angle. Let me let me get a pull up on that one. You see the side angle, lower to the ground angle. To really get the real, if you can, to really catch how much goods is coming in and out of it, that's about to be shut down, whether they like it or not. They're trying to transform this world, but this is not their world. I say they cannot transform a world that's not their world. This belongs to the Lord. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Which is why the prophets must prophesy. You must prophesy. You mm -hmm. must speak on these things, man. Because we're the only ones that can give the Lord's chosen people a different vision. That's like it. Right now, everybody's vision is joining whatever the world say join. Whether mm -hmm. it be climate change, whether it be recycling, whether it be all these things to save the world. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Our people are caught up in it. When What we got to do, man, is break from that and start to serve the most high. Because the lie is going to come to an end. Damn right. Damn right. The lie is going to come to an end. Mm -hmm. two, there you go. Look at that. That's like a city. Mm -hmm. You see that? That is a city. Mm -hmm. And that still don't do it justice, Michelle. You know why? Because you can't see how many containers are stacked on each other. Those are not yeah. single containers. No. Them suckers are stacked up, man. Some of them, On some of them areas in New Jersey, when I pass going into New York, brother, some of them joints is eight, ten stories high. Mm -hmm. with containers so that's one port and imagine all those goods coming into the city and the people of the city get none of it mm -hmm. when in ancient days when you go back and read about christ and peter remember the the men of the city asked for peter and them to pay tribute remember christ stopped peter at the door but christ still said nonetheless Go get this money and give it to him. He still paid them their tribute. 
These cities are supposed to be totally taken care of because that's where all the workers are that's bringing billions into this empire. But just uh, like ancient mm -hmm. Egypt, brother, the slaves mean nothing to them. The slaves come. are like one step above the rats. Mm -hmm. That's why we have, say again, please. No, I, I wanted to make a point when you get finished, sir, but you, you, no, had, you said something. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, you was talking how you was talking about the uh the, all the all the trade and stuff that come into these cities but then they want to lecture us about a trickle down economy you know a trickle down economy and saying that we got to work harder but then the goods are coming in and everything everybody's eating and we get we get the crumbs hmm. like we don't we don't get we don't get the we don't get the top plate when it come to these these goods, we don't even know the index of where these goods are going. Mm. Mm -hmm. And some of the goods are undercutting the goods that we're trying to sell. Yep. So they out they outprice you in the market mm -hmm. because they have such a such a large commodity. So the, the regular brother or sister that is trying to do things organically, they they get priced out. So it's some similarities between war and, and business. Yeah. So like I yield. If I could too, General, they was um they were saying you know, with, with the Baltimore Bridge, you know, there's the, the ships on the inside can't leave, ships on the outside can't come. There's been no trade coming out of that section of the heart. I don't know if you remember a few years ago when that evergreen um ship had blocked the West Canal. They were saying that daily, hold on, daily, that ship cost them four hundred million an hour because they couldn't, you know, not, nothing could have go and come in. So you could imagine they losing here in Baltimore daily with nothing going and coming from just this one ship. You know what I mean? And I think Maryland is through, um sixty million dollars emergency fund. So this this place definitely have a rack of money. So I'll give him a shot. That's a good shot right there. Come on, come on, sir. Go ahead. Yeah, like this this place have a rack of money and money coming and going, but it never ever sees us. Like, like the like as you saying, the average brother or sister really can't even begin to fathom how much money these people be having. Like what you were describing with the houses, the gold here and everywhere, because they're dealing with this thing, trade big, you know, big time. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. And and the Lord, even though we don't see it, the Lord sees it, All which right. is why he's stirring up this war in this Middle East. Like like people are looking at this war like it's, you know, oh, it's terrible. It's bad. It's horrible. This war is going to end captivity for poor people. That's right. All Not just us, but all over the earth. Mm -hmm. But for the 12 tribes, most definitely. Like this is a growing pain, just like a woman gets pregnant and those pains get worse as you get ready to have that child. This is a growing pain coming to pass right, right. before our eyes. This is a growing pain of what has been what is to happen on this earth. Hmm. This is you looking at it right here. And this is going to be a rough growing pain right here. You know what I'm saying? This is a major growing pain. Mm. And again, they shoot, they firing rockets, but they got plenty, plenty other things on both sides that are, you know, horrific. It's going to mm -hmm. do horrible, horrible things. And, me and remember now, the, what about the chemical weapons, the biological weapons? Like they've up to now, they've kept control over in, in uh, to a point over the populations of the earth, but not forever. That's it. Not forever. It goes along with that scripture in Second Ezra where the Lord said that they shall no longer uh, listen to their kings. Mm -hmm. Those days are coming, brother. Those That's days right. are coming. The days of vengeance on each other are coming. And believe you me, them Persians over there in Iran, they've been wanting to get back at Ptolemy and them for and Alexander <laughs> and them, brother, for millennia. Like mm -hmm. they've been wanting to even the score with them Greeks out mm -hmm. for many, many years. That's and right. they're about to even the score. The king of the south is about to fall 
and they about to get their opportunity, even though they're going to fall too. But this is their opportunity to try to get back at them Greeks for stepping on their empire and them never seeing the light of day after that. Once Ptolemy, once Alexander took over the Persian empire and then passed it on to Ptolemy, they have never seen the light of day ever since. Mm. But they, but they believe me, they, they it's in their history books. They know about it and they plan, you understand, to return to it. So mm -hmm. Rocky, gentlemen. Go ahead, Al. It's so heavy because everybody tell us to forget about the past. Yeah. But when it comes to these other nations in the war, they remember, they open up the record books. Yeah. And it's so heavy, you brought that nuclear general that everybody got a score to settle. Yes, they do. Everybody got a score, and some except, of them want to out. Except for us. Go ahead. Yeah, the, no, that's heavy, General. That's that's so heavy. You know what I'm saying? Because that, like, even our uh, Erdogan up there in uh in the Turk, he was yeah. talking about he wanted to bring back the Ottoman Turk Empire. Yeah. They thought he was talking crazy. He was like, "What you talking about?" He he all up in the museum talking about he wanted to bring up the Ottoman Turk Empire, bring right. back. So. And did, didn't ahead, nobody ahead, forget about finish. oh uh so like a general i didn't mean to cut you off sir no no go cap go no it, it, it's so heavy that that none of these even japan all these other everybody that got wrong they remember who wronged them and they don't let you call it critical race theory they let they call it justice yeah they call them remembering their history and when it comes to us these so-called leaders among us they just tell us to just go ahead and forget about it. But like you said, war bring back remembrance. You know what I'm saying? They start to, and, even, and it's so heavy because even the Lord said, uh, remember remember this nation that did this to you. Remember, and some of that stuff was over a hundred and some years. Oh, but the Lord said, I remember what they did to you. I remember how they treated you when you came out of Israel. So the Lord got a score to settle also. So like I yield, sir. No, that's that's a heavy point that, that you brought out, brother. That 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 and you know the Israelite school UBK is looked at like we just too radical, we just too off, we this and we that. The, this is the thing that people don't understand. God made the animals on the earth, right? And so if the Lord made the animals on the earth, the animals all are in battle with each other for their own survival. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like part of their survival is repelling the enemies that have ruled over them or are trying to kill them and eat them. You know what I'm saying? Some animals are more aggressive than others, but both animals have a survival mechanism built into them that allows them to continue. You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't we ain't running out of no deer because the lions are eating them. Ain't no gazelle. The gazelles are still populate, even though the gazelles are being attacked by the lions. The lions are still populating. Even though they can get caught off and, and 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 attacked by a wildebeest or or a bunch of hyenas or whatever, they still are, are are prospering. The problem with man is in his intelligence is he wipes out species and wipes hmm. out nations. And the problem is all nations think like those animals think. They think survival of their of their species, except for us. We're the only ones that are brainwashed to not think like that. And the Israelite school of UPK thinks like that. And because we think like that, we look at it as like a pariah. When in fact, the pariah is that nice spoken guy you think this is right and sweet. When mm -hmm. we are the ones that are really in the right mindset that you're supposed to be in. That's like, right. right. You're supposed to be thinking about your nation and your people. That's you know right. what I'm saying? And the, what's the proof that we don't think about it? Look at how much we wiping ourselves out. Mm -hmm. And I ain't just talking in America, the Caribbean, mm -hmm. the, our Latino brothers, forget about it. Them cartels, mm -hmm. we wiping out each other. Nowhere That's else right. is that going on. The only time in modern history that you see that happening was when the Irish were trying to break, through, break free from the British. <laughs> they were fighting tooth and nail. Then the killing was on. They was mm -hmm. killing like crazy because they was trying to get free. The same is happening in Ukraine. That's the only time you see them turn against each other in such a vicious way. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Because both of them are in a clash for their survival. 
but they're not praying or as, as a general rule, they're not praying on each other, but we mm -hmm. are. And that's mm -hmm. where we are twisted at and have to be twisted back from. That's right. I'm, so what I'm, you brought out is a heavy point, uh, Kahan. Like, like we water. think like people who care about their nation think. That's right. You don't think like this. You what you are trying to do is fit in as a slave. That's you right. Want to be a, you want to be a quiet, comfortable slave. And I understand mm -hmm. that. I understand that, but that will not save you. That's right. That will not save. What's the proof of that? We've been trying to do it since the 60s. And look mm -hmm. what has happened to our children because of it. We tried mm -hmm. to be, we tried to, you know, cool down and bring ourselves on a level. Mm -hmm. And look what happened. They just gobbled us up as a people and destroyed us. Now That's we right. got to call on the father. We That's need right. the father to <laughs> put it on them. That's right. I, I know. Right. So like you said, I could, and just to add Please. to what you're saying too, sir, like, like, um, you know what I mean like you know what I mean I'm paying attention to this this war on you know what I mean Israel and hearing them turn around the term Zionist movement, right? Mm -hmm. Now the Zionist movement they about um you know what I mean they think about their people, you know what I mean? But when mm -hmm. we start thinking about our people, they call us racist, yeah. but they won't call these the Zionists and them, they they're not racist, they they yeah. care about their people, they want land for their people. And they're willing to do anything to get that land for their people. Yep. You know what I mean? But when it comes to us and we trying to bring blacks and Hispanics together, no, we racist. No, you can't do that. You understand? Mm -hmm. No, no, no the laws that's trying to separate us as a people. You know what I mean? When when you know what I mean, when the the the, the only thing for your for your race, for your culture is to, for you to survive. We are going to have to come together. We're going to have to expel, you know what I mean, these other nations that wants to come in and try to tell us how to go about dealing with each other. You know what I mean? That they want to come in and govern govern us. You know what I mean? Tell us that we, you know what I mean, that, that, that abortion, women should have women rights. You know what I mean? That, that men, you know what I mean, that, that we have to, um, our fathers had to start paying child support. You know what I mean? Stuff like that to try and separate us as a people. You know what I mean? Even the, the laws in court. You know what I mean? When for our survival, we are going to have to come together. Just like just like America comes together with Israel. And you know what I mean? And these other countries come together and they try to, you know what I mean, survive. You know what I mean? Through everything. So like you said, you know. Listen, what, what you're saying is so right. I, like, like, like another nation, any nation that wants to be among us is eating us. Like mm -hmm. They don't love us more than they love their own nation. They just here because you food. Yeah. You know what I mean? This is a way to eat. This is a way mm -hmm. to get to gain. Right now in the healthcare industry across this entire country, across this entire country, the Hamites are taking over the entire healthcare industry from, mm -hmm. from, from black people. I mean, mm -hmm. all the, you know, all those homes that took care of people, even nursing homes and stuff like that, but all those care places that we had before, all those nurses, nursing positions, all of that's being flooded by the other nations. Mm -hmm. And they, and on top of it, they moving into your neighborhood, taking over your houses and your places. And our, our black leaders who are ignorant as hell, they turn around and say, well, they're black people like us. We, we all should be sticking together. That's another nation. That is hmm. not our nation. And they right. certainly don't look at us like we are all the same nation. That's we right. should be looking at us like we're a different nation so that we could survive. Like one thing that's beautiful about the Bible is that the Bible will teach you how to survive. That's how right. to survive in captivity. What you should and should not do. Hmm. What you should do for your people. How you maintain. What to do for the hmm. prophets that they might carry on the word in time. Long enough to the Lord open the door for us to walk up out of this cabinet. Did I lose y'all? That's what we should be aspiring to do. That's the hell that we're in. You know what I'm saying? And 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 the hell that we should be turning our back on. We got to be fully focused. David said this, which was so heavy. David said, 
if I forget Zion, let my right hand forget her cunning. I'm paraphrasing. Mm -hmm. But in essence, mm -hmm. tell me if I'm wrong. In essence, David was saying, if I forget this nation, man, don't let me be able to defend my life any longer. And we That's all right. know David knew how to defend his life. David was a right. killer mm -hmm. among killers. You, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So, so for David to say that, David is saying, look, if I can't fight for this nation, then don't even let, let me lose the ability to fight. When David took pride in his ability to fight, when he went and fought before he even got in the war and fought Goliath, he fought a lion and a bear. So fighting mm -hmm. and conquering the enemy was always in him, was always a part. It's what made him great. He went and killed Goliath and called him an uncircumcised heathen. <laughs> That's right. Like this cat ain't part of no, I don't give a damn how big he is. I don't give a damn how much mighty he's supposed to be. This is an uncircumcised heathen. And David right. went in there with what he knew, that damn slingshot, and bust that <laughs> cat in the head, man, and killed him. <laughs> you know what I mean? And chopped his damn head off. Like, like <laughs> that's not saying that we to go out and do that, all right? But what I'm saying is that's the mindset that David was in because he loved his nation. He loved right. it more than he loved his own life. He would rather have lost his life than to have lost that nation. And he loved it so much that he said, man, I'd be a doorkeeper if I have to in this nation. I'd be a doorkeeper rather than to have to go among another nation. And even when the Lord said he would punish him, you understand? <laughs> and he said, I'll give you the option. You could fall into the hands of your enemies or blah, 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 blah. And David said, no, nah, man, let me fall into the hands of the Most High. I don't want to fall into the hands of my enemies. I trust right. in the Most High. Like, that was a man that totally understood the love of his nation. And That's it's right, totally sir. supposed to be the way we're supposed to be. That's Especially right. in this kind. Christ was his son who stood up for that kingdom. So right. You know what I mean? Like, that's how a man of God is supposed to be. You're supposed to love this nation above all. You're supposed to agonize over this. You hmm. know what I mean? And the brothers that see our brothers and sisters being abused by the cops, running in these stores in groups, selling dope to each other in all the tribe, that outrage is supposed to turn into raising up and teaching regardless of what you lose on that road. Hmm. David lost family members, soldiers. All kinds of stuff. Had to flee from other nations. Had to flee from Saul, his own brothers. Had He had mm -hmm. to flee from them too. But mm -hmm. he still persevered to push forth and raise this nation up. And now, as this opportunity is coming, we should be pressing to ra raise this nation up. Pressing to take this opportunity to turn our people from their own darkness. You know what I'm saying? To teach them what needs to be taught and to bring them out of this darkness. Because rest assured, this much I can tell you, according to this biblical prophecy that we got right here, according to this biblical prophecy, brother, there is, without a doubt, much, much more war coming. I doubt it. If they, if they ever come out of here since the time, I've been saying this since the time they went in, it's looking like they're never going to come out. Hmm. Now, awesome. even more, it's looking like they're never going to come out. Yeah. It's looking like this is going to just go on and on and on and on and on. You understand? Mm -hmm. I know we ain't got a lot of time, but Lord allow on Monday, if we if we can get into the show Monday night, I think I'm going to go do Daniel the 11th chapter because that's what is going on right now. Is that Daniel the 11th chapter? All that's, break, all that's happening right now is in that biblical prophecy where we now, where the, where the Greeks now are about to step up and join and come up against their own and hmm. begin to rip this place apart. Meaning the, hmm. the king of the north and the king of the south, they about to clash now. America hmm. is about to clash with them Russians and everybody in between is going to be caught up in it. Including Great Britain, all of them are about to be caught up in it. And it is a holy thing. That's it a is a holy, holy, holy thing before the Lord. It is a... It, 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 does it, it it uh speaks to two three great two two great things one that the lord is real and two that regardless of what man thinks and believes
that this earth is ruled by our father from heaven. Then you, right. could, you could set out a plan and build nuclear weapons. Hmm. Like, like, okay, in carnality, I don't know no weapon that you could ever create on earth that could make you feel more secure from your enemies. Hmm. If you got nuclear weapons, nuclear planes, nuclear rockets, nuclear submarines, if you got all types of technology, right. AI computers, robots, hmm. You could see in the dark. You got night vision, you know, uh, infrared vision. You got all that. You got uh, GPS. You can coordinate anything you want all over the world. You don't even have to find the map of a road. You already have the whole planet mapped up. You're going hmm. off the planet. You're living in outer space. You're pulling minerals out of the, out of the, out of the uh, uh, sky, possibly sitting on the moon. I don't know no man that could be more secure and have more weapons and more protection for himself than a man in that state. Right. Yet you are totally vulnerable to the Lord. Huh. Yet he sent a virus to you that, has, that you That's can't right. even see. That's yeah, right. Right. He sent a virus to you that you can't even see yeah. and, and cripple your kingdom. That's mm -hmm. the proof the Lord exists. And that's mm -hmm. the proof that he should be obeyed. That's right. Even though he is low key about it, yeah. he should be obeyed. Right. And our people got to come up out of that because, but without a doubt, this place is going down. Salaki, I yield. Uh, Salaki, General. Go ahead, Cap. And that's so heavy that you brought that out. But I hope a lot of brothers and sisters out there that's listening on the stream caught that, man. For a man to have all that security yet be insecure, like right. that's spiritual. Like the Lord, like. I mean, it, it just shows how, how much of a beast he is, having all of those things, and yet he's going to be brought down. Yet he's paranoid, yep. mm. you know, out in space, you know, t snatching ring, snatching the yep. minerals out of the rings of Saturn and all the things that he's doing. You know what I'm saying? Like with the computer, the Lord allowed him to create his own intelligence, artificial, and he still, he still is not satisfied. Mm -hmm. Like I think that speaks a lot to the living in the flesh and the carnality mm -hmm. of what not being in the spirit can can bring you to. And it's like the Lord is giving us a case study before he mm -hmm. bring the kingdom. He's showing us through this man with all his power how not to be. Because he's a mm -hmm. problem now. Yeah. In a few seconds, he's going to be a proverb. <laughs> so like I yield. Like, you know that go right. You know that go right. I'll let y'all jump in, but you know that goes right along with the scripture that says, um, "For this reason have I raised thee up to show my power mm -hmm. in thee." And here's why I press on it so much. I, and this is this is a little personal to me. When I was coming up young as a kid in the Bronx and seeing the destruction, you know, I grew up in that time when they had that crack era, and it was so much destruction on blacks and latinos and native indians are in all of our hoods the death rate was as it is now and worse shootings was everywhere you had six locks on your door you had to have guns and weapons you had to have so much to not be wiped out completely because that's how much de uh, destruction they brought on us from the 60s so for those of you that may not understand once we got those laws passed with martin luther king in the 60s they set out to wipe us out as a people. And mm -hmm. in the, those 20 years from the 60s to the 80s, they completely impoverished and destroyed the black and Latino community. They mm -hmm. wiped us out for action for those civil rights. Those civil rights, brother, have cost us dearly. Mm -hmm. those, those rights to try to join them cost us so much over the last four or five decades. So during that time is when I came into you know, my days. And as a, as a young dude, I saw so much of this destruction and seeing this destruction, man, really made me say, how could we have love for them? How could we, you know, how could we want to join them? Like, how could we not see that we have to come together with us and be, and be something different. And it's why I press upon this kingdom so much. Because this kingdom is really all we have. Anything mm -hmm. else is a lie. This whole idea, any man 
any man to come along and say you should not have the faith of the father and walk after these law, statutes, and commandments that's in some other religion. These cats that's in these religions that, ha that try to give you the idea that you got to get out there and get it for yourself. Stop looking for a man in the sky. Because you look for that man in the sky, it doesn't mean that you just now sit at home and wait for that man in the sky. It means that you occupy, you work hard towards those things. You know, David didn't sit around and say, I totally have faith in the Lord and, and, and expect the kingdom to build itself. The scripture said faith without works is dead. Right. We got to fight to have what it is we want and get help from the Lord for standing up with it. Go read why he went and got all those brothers. The Lord didn't come to Moses until Moses showed the Lord that he cared about them brothers so much that he got run out of the whole goddamn Egyptian kingdom. Mm. Lost his seat as second in power. Like, like you know, who's a, uh, this is a bad example, but this is a slight microcosm of that example, is that vice president to Trump. Was his name Pence? Mm -hmm. You see how much they hate that dude? They hate him because he did the right thing for the Medemites. Hmm. The Medemites is dumb and ignorant and, and stupid, and they don't know. And hmm. so was our people when we was coming out of Egypt. We was dumb and stupid and ignorant and didn't know and hmm. turned on Moses. Mm -hmm. But 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 that Mike Pence, he did the right thing for them Edomites in America. Because if he had not, they would have destroyed their whole uh, political uh, uh, structure. They would have mm -hmm. had a civil war over that over the structure because, of course, it, he would have done something that was wrong. But yet, he being vice president, they couldn't have stopped it, mm -hmm. which would have caused the whole big rift. And you know who did not do that? who should have done that was Aaron, hmm. not Aaron. I'm sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was Aaron. Aaron is the one that made that golden calf. You know why? Because that's what they wanted. Hmm. Pence did not do that. That Edomite did not do that. Well, guess what? Moses didn't do it either. Moses hmm. didn't go along with what they went with. Moses went against them, got run out of the kingdom. And what happened? The Lord came to Moses. Like you got to go with the father. You got to go with his kingdom, even though you hate it. And brother, mm -hmm. we should do it because if we do it, we, he will, he will respond. Not that we sit around, but we hoping on him and he will respond to that hope brother. So, long. I yield. so that's why you see me after seeing, after seeing all that in the eighties, just to cap off after seeing all that in the eighties, that's why I run the way I run. Without mm -hmm. this, I, we don't have no hope. And if you're looking at the Muslims, they already had their shot. That's right. They were in power at that time. And they mm -hmm. and look what happened. The only reason that the black Muslims in America are not running all of black America is simply because those who join the Muslims and rise in providence in this kingdom go to the Muslim's father, the mm -hmm. Arabs. Mm -hmm. The same in the Christian church. Those that rise to prominence in the Christian church, where are they? Mm -hmm. They in Puff Daddy's mansion. Mm -hmm. You understand? They in Jay-Z's mansion. Mm -hmm. Where are they at? Where are the great singers of, of Black America? Where are they? Where did they come from? They came from that house called that mm -hmm. church. Mm -hmm. So what happens is if you take on the religion of a slave, I mean, if you take, if you be a slave to the religion of your slave master, the, no matter how great you become, you're going to join your slave master. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. I, yeah, so like, I, I can go on all night. So love you. So like I say one thing in general. Please. I mean, it's one, it's one of the, of, of, of one of the many things that you taught us that I remember hearing. I mean, there's so much that you taught us over the years, but you said something that was paramount that you just made me think about it. I remember you saying, uh, to myself and a, and, and a group of brothers, you, you, you made this statement. You said that you can't have a strong nation if you keep giving love outside of it. Mm -hmm. right. And that's, and that would, that, that stayed with me even to this very day, because it lets us know that we can't out, we've been outsourcing our love. Mm -hmm. We are where we at in the position where we at. No, so like, I mean to cut you off, sir.
No, no, no. I didn't mean to cut you off, Cap. Go ahead and finish it. Cut on one cut. Cut on what comes, sir. It's, it's just so heavy because we in the situation where we where we are now socially, economically, and spiritually because we didn't outsource our love. And we can't even translate love to each other now. It's like we at a civil war, not just in Haiti, but even in our own communities in America because, you know, we didn't outsource our love. And I know one of the things that broke a piece is before you can, you know, before you can come to terms, you have to agree on the same terminology. And we don't have that. Even when it comes to God's word. So that's why I just, I'm so thankful for you, Commander Junior Hunter and I, UPK. So like, I yield. Hey, to, to our king, y'all gonna let me steal one more minute on y'all. Because what you said, Kahan, was so, so heavy. If I could, Akim, let me tell you why. What you said was so heavy. Because guess what? The, the people who left the church and went to Hollywood, they outsourced their love to Hollywood. They gave up their love for the church and outsourced their love to Hollywood. And guess what? When they got to Hollywood and outsourced their love to Hollywood and learned the ways of Hollywood, what did they do? They turned around and used the tools of Hollywood to make other people outsource their love. You know what I mean? There could be no Puff Daddy scandal if black people didn't go to Puff Daddy and sell themselves out. Mm -hmm. Just like you bringing out. Like we outsourced our love so much so that the Puff Daddy could get you to outsource your integrity, outsource your morality outsource your your dignity you give it all up and now you on some tape somewhere hmm. and now you done been compromised because hmm. why because you join the hollywood that destroys our people and you and you outsourced yourself and compromised yourself which is why we can't never do it we have to have a god of our own we have to have an identity of our own and a people of our own that is unique to us and nobody else. And fortunately for us, we found out that because all the identities were taken and we were destroyed, somebody else took our identity too. Like every hmm. nation snatched up an identity. Oh, I like this one. I'm going to take that. Hmm. We're going to take this. We're going to take that. We're going to take this. We're going to take that. And then there was one sitting there that nobody had. And they were like, well, whose identity is this? We don't know because whoever it was, they're destroyed. No problem. We'll take that. Hmm. But that identity was sacred to the Lord. Oh, and taking that identity was a bad idea. Mm -hmm. And now for taking that identity, you got a war breaking out in the Middle East. Mm -hmm. And it's about to destroy these nations on this earth. Can I get one scripture before we go? Get me Isaiah 11 and, and 1. Come, come. I'm going to just go four, four, maybe four verses, y'all. Four verses. That's all I need four verses, one to four, I'm going to run this down because, brother, this is the time that this biblical prophecy, this is the time, bro, to put your father in heaven first. Them warriors, every last one of the stories of those brothers and sisters that did what they did is an amazing story. You understand? I'm, I'm on a, I, might, I might just start a little series of reading those stories and putting them together for people to go back and check out because what a lot of what they did does not get revealed hmm. and needs to be revealed the intricacies of the amazing things that these brothers and sisters did mm -hmm. needs desperately to be revealed. Go ahead and break it down. Uh. Kawakan, Isaiah chapter 11, verse one, and there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse, that rod that came out of the stem of Jesse was Christ. Started mm -hmm. with David. Came all the way up to Yahawashai, the king. Go ahead. And a branch shall grow out of his roots. Right. That branch is the, tw is the, the nation of Israel under his umbrella. Go ahead. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. Right. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. The Lord is resting on this nation. This is the Lord's place. This is where righteousness. The Lord don't have to have every nation be right. But this nation got to be where righteousness sits, where the judgment sit. 
The Lord loves that. He loves to walk among this nation and see righteousness and judgment being carried out. People being carried out in the spirit, just like any good father. When you come home, you don't want to see your kids throwing cereal across the living room. Hmm. You understand? And pouring soda out on, on the floor. I know Mashak don't like it because Mashak got the most disciplined kids I've ever seen on the planet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mashak don't like to talk about it, but I, brother Mashak come up to a high holy day one time in Philly and brought them beautiful babies of his out. And them babies was, was, them babies was operating like officers of 50. Damn right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Like he, and if I could, can I, can I say a little bit about the school in Mashak if I could? Cowboy, cowboy. I have to if you don't want me to. So I was a cowboy. Yeah, you know, Mashak homeschools his children. He mm. raises them himself. He don't raise them in Esau school. You know what I mean? So he raises his children himself, and because of it, brother, they have learned such a righteous way. It's a pleasure to be around them because they have learned such a righteous way. You know what I mean? I know he a tyrant up there at home. We are gonna work on it with that. <laughs> <laughs> he got the. He got, he got, dumb babies are, it's amazing to see how in order and discipline they are. That's the type of brother yeah, right. You know what I mean? And because of that, uh, you know, like that's what the Lord wants. He wants us to be those types. So we got to fight for that every day to grow into that. Go ahead, Kazak Salaki. Kawakai, sir. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. And all of this rests on Yahushua, our king. All of it rested on him. And brother, he carried it. He carried it so elegantly we have it 4,000 years later today. If he had not carried it so elegantly the way he did, we would not have this record right now. No man was worthy to open the book and to open the records, but he was. You understand? That's what was so great. Go ahead. Uh, and he deserved the honor. He deserved all the accolades that come with it. He right. deserved it because what he did was beyond the pale. What he did is just beyond the pale. The brother was the baddest of the bad. And because we hold to him, make no mistake, you dumb dumbs out there that are listening to this podcast and others, we because we hold on to that black man call you call Jesus Christ Yahweh Shai in the Hebrew because we hold on to him that doesn't mean we sit around and do nothing that's right that does not mean we do that we do the opposite of that go ahead ah call sir verse three and shall make him of quick understanding in the that's fear right. of the Lord right he gonna be of quick understanding of the fear of the Lord from young and with quick understanding, like he's quick to understand the fear of the Most High. He battled Satan after 40 days on a one-on-one hmm. and smoked Satan. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Satan tried to out-talk him down, talk him, out-talk him in his nonsense. He he wiped the mat with him. Go ahead, Doc. Call Khan. And he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes. Right. Go ahead. Neither reprove after the hearing of his ears. And that's so heavy. Meaning this this judgment that's coming among us from him will not be because you bring him some money. Mm -hmm. Will not be because you promise him something. Like this will not be a judgment built on corruption. This will not be that kind of judgment. Go ahead. But with righteousness shall he judge the poor. This is what we need. If right, if the if the righteousness, if righteousness ever came along, if let's say righteousness came out of the fourth dimension and walked up and said, I'm gonna judge these poor people in these ghettos and in these 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 huts in these Caribbean and in these different uh shacks down there in Central and South America, his judgment would be to wipe out all of the wealth and power and probably the lives of those that are in judge that those that are in power in the earth. That would be his judgment. That's biblical judgment. This is why people actually run from the Bible. Because mm-hmm. that would be his, that would be the right judgment. You understand? But this brother here is coming with an army strong enough to bring forth that judgment. See, mm-hmm. when we call for justice, no justice, no peace, we are actually begging. 
That's right. When you march in the street, you're actually begging. Hmm. You protest and stand up, you're begging. Because that's all you can do. You have no power to actually affect the judgment. Mm -hmm. You can only call on the judgment. You can't affect the judgment. Well, hmm. guess what? He can affect the judgment. And we build and occupy until that judgment can be affected. That's right. When that judgment can be affected, brother, it's going to be hell on earth. That's right. Sir. Damn right. That's right. Damn that right. judgment sir. can be affected, brother. It's going to be something to see. Go ahead, Axelot. Mm -hmm. Kawakai, sir. And reprove with equity for the meek of the earth. Right. Uh, reprove with equity, meaning with balance, with with fair a fair hand on both hands. He's gonna be fair mm -hmm. on for both with equity, equal. Mm -hmm. What is it? What, you deserve this, you deserve that. Go ahead. Power Khan, and he shall smite the earth. And could you imagine that the ruler of the earth? Imagine if the ruler of the earth huh, could judge like this. Imagine if those in super wealth and power could judge. The reason they can't judge like this is because if they judge like this, the fear of all of their crimes will come to, to fruition because the people who got equal justice will require his life. That's right. right. But there is one man who can require it without you being able to require his life. And that's, that's right. your house shot. Right. Go ahead, that's right. With the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips shall he slay the wicked. There you mm. go. Like mm. This prophecy that we do, this thing we do, this thing we do is everything out. Because this thing we do is going to bring forth the day when equitable, righteous judgment will bring forth in the earth. That's right. We're going to start doing it among right. us, and the Lord will rise us up till it's being done among everybody. And that, That's brother, right. is what we need. I yield to water. That's right. And so like I said, just, just to add also too, you know what I mean? I know, you know what I mean? You, you, you don't like it in a way, but to water to you, sir, you know what I mean? For, for giving us, you know what I mean? For showing like black men. I, I understand, sir, but sir, the courage to give brothers and sisters in here, we need it. You understand? Because, you know what I mean? You look at history where brothers try to come together without the Bible. The, the oppressor, he came in and destroyed it. He can you hear me? You yeah. try to build Black Wall Street without the Bible, he came in and destroyed it. And there were so many Black yeah. Wall Streets across America where Black people knew they had to come together, but he came in and yeah. destroyed yeah. it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. To, to, to the point where, you know what I mean, today, you know what I mean, you want the Black Wall Street, well, Commander and Hannah, in the, in the RCBK is building it. That's you right. Know, come join. That's you right. know what I mean? And get get that courage and know that the Lord is going to be with you. That's right. You know I mean? And we're doing it with the Bible this time. That's right. Oh. Okay, sir. Right. And you, sir. So, still, okay, you know, I have just one question. If um, if you could, before you roll, right? Um, or before we roll, um, like with all this going on, right? Throughout the world, with, you know, Russia and Ukraine and you know, Sudan and everybody, Libya and the Houthis and Iran, Israel. It, it seemed it seemed like our people still coming um not even just rock to sleep, but like in a lull or a daze. And it, it seemed like even since from that time of the damn COVID and even now, I don't know how much of it is really hitting home with us. Like we still, you know, caught up with the ditties and everything else. Like what, what, you know, what will, what will it take? You think going forward for our people, the rest of our people, you know, because the oppression is super thick on us, very, very. Thick. Like, how, like how going forward, mapping out for our people to really because the, these heathens they catching hell and they waking up down there more than us. They waking right. up the fact that the oppressor is the devil. They have the whole campaign against the Jewish man with, you know, over in Europe, they wasn't even going to the Starbucks and some of the, um, the stuff that Jewish people own and then they were taking some losses. So like, like, all going forward with us, 
is it is it now that they starting to reject us gonna make us start to wake up more or the, the oppression is going to increase like how how is it for our people going forward Uh, it's it's going to take a tumult. It's mm. going to take, you know, it's going to take a serious tumult among us. Meaning, meaning we 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 gonna have to see the darker side of this because okay, first of all, I'm gonna tell you, boy, we are as we are as, as a rat in the in the we are as a rat in the lab in this. Mm. Cause this is exactly what Moses ran into when we left up out of here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, what 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 Moses ran into when we left out of here? Salak, you bear with me one second. That when Moses got us into that wilderness, brother, he had he found he had a such a destroyed people that he had to deal with. He had such a destroyed people that he had to deal with. That I mean, it took forty years to get us fixed, mm. and here's why. Here's why. Because for, for, the, for 400 years, the Egyptians, to eat us like the Egyptians did for 400 years, they had to get us like any trained dog. They, got to, they had to get us used to pleasures. And once they got us used to pleasures, then they began to control us with those pleasures. Imagine if you had a dog, right? And you couldn't get the dog to do what you wanted it to do. And if you offer the dog treats, it didn't bother the dog. Would you ever be able to train that dog? No, you would never be able to train the dog. Why? Because he's not not playing with you. And even a, a treat doesn't make him comply. So the only other thing you got to beat him in, if that doesn't make him comply, right. you got to put the dog down. Because the dog is not com won't comply. Well, Esau has done the same thing to us that the Egyptians did. He got us used to pleasures. Here's your trinket, trinket. Here's your entertainment. Here's your drugs. Here I turned your woman into a whore. Here you don't have no responsibilities. Run in, run the streets. Here I'm your master. You don't. All you got to do is sit next to me. Don't worry about having your own nation with your own borders and your own strength. Don't bother with none of that. I got that. You know, I am the mighty America. You just go to work. You know what I mean? That's your job. Your job is to jump through this hoop, guard the door, drive the bus, clean the street, bring me my coffee. That's your job. So here's your trinket. So now you used to the tr to the treat. You got the treat now. You you used to the treat. Now I take away the treat hmm. and say do what I'm telling you to do. And you're going to do it more. And you're going to fight over the treat. And if you see me give the treat to another dog, you're going to growl because you're not getting the treat. And now, now you're in a miserable existence trying to get that treat because that's what you used to. Well, that's our television. That was BET in the 80s and 90s. That's your gangster rap run by the small hats. That's your public education system. You understand? That's all the things. That's your sports arena. Those are all the things that surround your life. You understand? That's the internet. Ooh, the internet. Social media. Social media is the biggest coup he ever could get. Because it's electronic. He can control it. He can look into it any way he wants. And above all, he got control of you with it. So that's what he did. And that's... And so... Once again, I said this a couple years ago. I said we have to come to the point where we have to stop blaming black people for what's happened. Because even I'm talking about black people that's not even criminals. Let's not even go to the level of criminals. I'm talking about the average black man, West Indian man, and Native Indian man. You understand? Latinos, all our brothers. That average man right now has been trained like a dog for 400 years. The average one, just a regular working brother. He'd been trained to fear the master, obey the master, work hard for the master. You understand? He'd been trained. You, you ever hear a person say to you, I don't talk about uh, religion and politics on the job. You ever hear somebody say that? You know why they say that? That's training. 
Calvin Klein. That's training. You don't want your dogs talking about religion and politics because those are the things that lead people. So you have so you don't want them to argue their way into how to lead ourselves. They don't want that. We'll go to go to any responsible nation. Go right now to any responsible nation. When you hit the streets in that nation, everybody in that nation is examining the news. That nation has tens of thousands of newspapers. I remember when I first went to Egypt. When I went to Egypt, I, I could not believe how many newspapers was in Egypt and how many people was reading them. Right. The whole damn country was reading the news. It was like I was it was weird to me. It was like, why is everybody why look? And I realized later on, I was young at the time, but I realized later on why. Because that's what responsible people do. Right. They, they go through the news. We're taught, leave that alone. You ever hear a person say, I don't like to watch the news because it's too much tragedy on the news. Come, that's come. a trained animal. Meaning you train to not look at the news because it's too tragic. So what do you got to look at? Woo Facebook. Right. You understand? And you don't have to worry. You don't have to worry because why? Your slave master brings you a bowl of food. You understand? You don't. Do, you ever heard them say the term how an animal in the wild is different than an animal at home, than a domestic animal? There's a reason for that. The domestic animal doesn't have to use all of its wits to eat. Come, come. Domestic animal, you put a bowl of food down at 6 o'clock every morning. Right. All he got to do is wait till 6 o'clock and he eats. Right. That's a, that's a slave. That's us. Come on. You punch in at nine, you get out at five. I mean, we have to do it. I'm not saying we don't. Yeah. In slavery, we have to do it. But that animal in the woods, he got to survive on his wits, his ingenuity, his aggression. That's how he got to survive. That's the one that the Lord made. That's the free man. That animal that you see in the woods, that's a free man. Even though you've been taught He's in a worse state, but he don't have a, a quiet home. Yeah. He don't have temperature control. He didn't. He doesn't have a a, a bed from from uh from the uh, uh 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 pet store. He doesn't get a doggy treat at the end of the week. Oh, he doesn't eat the good Purina food. He got to eat a wild animal. So he's looked at like, oh, poor dog living in the woods. He's the free dog. That one living in that house is not free. When Moses got us out in the wilderness. We wanted to be treated like the slave dog. We wanted Moses to provide the water, provide the food. You leading us now. You the new, you the new master. Where's the food? Where's the water? Where's the table? Where's the house, Moses? Let's kill this dude, man. Man, where's the God at? We were like bad children that didn't understand what what the Lord was doing. We are slaves in our mind, and this is the average brother. You bump into on the train or there's driving your Uber or there's working next to you on the job, that's him. Oh, He's the same and he don't know it. And so it's why everything you see us talking about, the third world war and all of this, that, 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 a lot of our people tune it out. Yeah. Well, don't yeah. want to hear about it, this, this, it. that's training. Here's yeah. why, because you, you've lived under the master a dog never thinks that the master's house could burn down. Hmm. The food been there every day. <laughs> you understand? Like, why yeah. would the master the, the you now go try to tell the dog Fido, Fido? You have to learn how to hunt because the the master's house might burn down. Fido be like, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Six o'clock every morning is a bowl of of hey. arena dog child right here. I'm right. not going nowhere doing nothing. Get out of my face. That's what he's going to say to you. And now, like this was happening with us. Come, come. Go ahead, Art. No, nah, General, it's, it's ahead, heavy. I, I remember us being in camp in Philly, and it was this one cat. Uh, he came to the table, and we was breaking everything down to him. He, and he was yelling out, walking down the street. He was like, yeah, when the revolution starts, I, I, I'll be with y'all brothers, man. When the revolution comes, I'm going to be right with y'all brothers. And he was walking down the street. You like man, a revolution right now, brother. Like what's going on now? That's the truth, <laughs> right? Uh -huh. Exactly. That was funny. Exactly. <laughs> and you answered. Hey, good point because, of course, that was just to appease us. Go ahead, not Doctor Salabi. 
no, no sir, I'm just going to ask also too that that training that does it have to deal with um with fear also too because brothers and sisters oh they, without they, a doubt concert oh, because it's, they, it's, they, it's without a doubt like your mm -hmm. your master the, the 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 slave master make sure you understand what it's like when you don't get the treat that's what tv is for TV is for you to see that black man get dragged out the car in his head. Like the brother that just got shot up in that white SUV. Right. The white police officer. That's for you. Hmm. That's so that you remember that when you get pulled over. Right. You know what I mean? So that you don't be a free dog. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? That's so that you go the minute he pull out the leash. Mm -hmm. right. That's so that you understand it, and and unfortunately, that's where we are as a people. How does that end? That ends by the master's house being disrupted to the point where the the dog. If you have a dog and your house catch on fire, or hurricane hits your house, you think that dog gonna sit inside that house? No, nah. he gonna bolt out of there and head to them woods fast as he can. He come back a day or two later, look out the woods and see if your shit's still there. Excuse my <laughs> if, if it was there, he might creep back. You know what I'm saying? Which is which is exactly what we did with Moses. Remember, we said we want to go back to Egypt. Yeah. Uh, eat out the flesh pots. That's the Lord destroyed Egypt with the plagues. We got out there in the wilderness and said, maybe the plagues is over, man. We should go back <laughs> and get back up in there where we was. Right. You know what I mean? Damn. The Lord had to destroy Egypt for us to not go to hell back. And had to make it part of our law to let no man carry us back. That's how much of a slave we were. To mm -hmm. let no, imagine that. We saw all those miracles. Watch Egypt destroyed. Carried mm -hmm. out with a ship over our head. Watch Moses part the Red Sea. We still needed the law to tell us don't go back. Yeah. Because once you train a dog, brother, a dog is loyal as hell. And guess Tom. what? A man is more loyal. Because he right. ain't dumb as a dog. He's intelligent. Tom. Train mm -hmm. him and forget about it. That's Man. our problem. We got a hard road coming, but that's what we need the father for. We need more uh, of this. We need yeah. more of them turning on the news and seeing them rockets overhead, which make us which make our people say, Ooh, maybe I need to look at him. what's going mm -hmm. on here. You know, right. what's going on, General Johanna? What's what is this? Is the Lord coming or what's happening to make us think for ourselves? Right. To make us think about how precious we are. All it's going to take is one of these nations in here to turn against black people. Let mm -hmm. one nation, let one, it don't have to be Esau. Let any nation, the smallest nation, turn against black people because they just hate us or because of some horrible tragedy that happened or something like that, brother. And you're going to see us wake up overnight. Overnight, we're going to realize, whoa, we've been sitting among these nations and they've been hating our guts and eating off us. And we never even realized it until now. You know when we realized it? I'm going to tell you a, a perfect example of when we realized. It. Remember when they had the riots in California after the Rodney King incident? Right. Remember when those Asians got on top of the roof of their businesses? And open fire on black people. Come on, come on. I mean, could you imagine open firing on black people in the middle of the streets of Los Angeles and get no repercussions from the government? None. Not one person get got arrested, as far as I could I know. Well, Way we went and did that. When they got up on that roof and started snipering black people, that's when black people realized, holy shit, <laughs> we sitting in here in LA buying out their store, making them rich. And that money they got rich with, they buying guns. Mm. And the minute, the minute their business got threatened, they start taking the lives of black people. And guess what? Today, all that funding that went to rebuild Los Angeles, they built those Asians an entire community and filled it with vending carts. Them vending trucks, they got a whole community of vending trucks with, with tables and chairs, all of that. That's it, on top of the roof. Proud and comfortable, 
having a sunny day while the riots was going on. Now, why now nobody charged them for coming together with each other? Remember, all those guys that you showed up on that roof, uh, they're not from the same restaurant or the same businesses. Right. They was from one of the many businesses in that area. Come, come. And they came together to protect each other. See, come, I'm going to pass over my shot. We're going to roll yes, up out sir. of here. Come, come, sir. To all of you for coming on, sir. Yeah, I'm going to definitely appreciate it. Hey, to all of y'all for having me, yo, man. While we're getting this thing on, let's let's uh mm -hmm. let's do our thing yeah. and get up out of here, man. The water for everybody that joined us tonight, man. We'll see y'all next time live on the UPK. That's right. That's, That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. All right. All right. Barack. Yeah. Yeah. How about some of the stuff? Yeah. How about some of the stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Islam is real. The Israelite school of universal and practical knowledge under commanding General Yohanna presents the Lord's 55th annual Passover. That's right. The Lord's 55th annual Passover is rapidly approaching. Commanding General Yohanna is calling for all blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to remember what the Lord did for us by saving us from our oppressors and choosing us to be a special people unto him. The real Jews and Israelites. Passover will be held in Durham, North Carolina. Pay your Passover fee. Anyone 17 years of age or older must pay $200. Come and enjoy fresh lamb, unleavened bread, and the spirit of Christ. Can't wait to see you all there, Israel. Shalom. Can't give between